Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabans. We want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. Today, we got a pretty interesting show for you guys that we definitely want you guys to stick around for. But before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, as y'all know, we're still going through round one. There's only been one team that's advanced, and I believe that was the Philadelphia 76ers when they swept what is it, the Brooklyn Nets in four games, surprises no one. And as a matter of fact, going into that series, I think most of us picked the Philadelphia 76ers to win that series. Now, I remember at the beginning of the playoffs where we were doing all of our brackets, and I had a pretty interesting bracket, um, bracketology, let's say, in the Western Conference, where I had the Warriors advance, advancing in round one, I had the Lakers advancing in round one, I believe I have the Nuggets advancing in round one, and I had the Clippers advancing in round one. At the beginning of the season, I also um, said that I felt like we were going to see the Clippers and the and the what is it, the Golden State Warriors in the Western Conference Finals, and I ultimately felt that the Los Angeles Clippers were going to be victorious and make it to the NBA Finals. Well, we all know since the playoffs have started, things have gone in a totally different direction. Giannis is out. Um, I think they're trailing that series there against the Miami Heat. Kawhi Leonard, who played exceptionally well in Game One and Game Two, he went down. Uh, well, he was he was he was he was unavailable. Excuse me for Game Three because we found out he had some some issue with his knee or something like that. Then we found out uh, subsequently that he was going to be out for Game Four. And now the latest report that I got, at least, was that there's no time there's no timetable for his return. Right. And to me, I think that basically means that uh, Kawhi Leonard is not coming back. The Clippers now, as we currently speak, are down 3-1. There's no way they're going to come back and win this series unless something miraculous happens. And I'm t- and by miraculous, I'm talking about you would need to see Kawhi Leonard and PG walk through that door. Otherwise, we can forget about it. So with the Clippers out of the way, because I 100% felt that if the Clippers were healthy, They'll be easy, they'll be able to beat the Lakers quite easily. I don't think it would even be a question, given the fact that they beat in this team uh, eleven times in a row. I just think they're a bad matchup for the Lakers. But now the Clippers are going to be gone. And if you look at the case with the Memphis Grizzlies, who just dropped Game Three, if I'm not mistaken, and they got—I mean, they got molly whopped, especially in that first quarter. I think it, they only scored nine points, if I'm not mistaken, in the first. It was it was unheard. Of. I've never seen anything uh, like that. So they won that game. The Lakers won that game from wire to wire. Um, yeah, they made it. They made it competitive at the end. John Morant finished that game with 45 points. But the fact of the matter is, John Morant was coming off of a hand injury, or he's playing, excuse me, uh, with a hand injury. So that team is not 100%. Stephen Adams, he's out. So most likely, the Lakers are going to win that series. Now, what this brings me now, uh, excuse me, to the Golden State Warriors. If you're following this series against the Sacramento Kings, that series is tied. The Sacramento Kings have absolutely zero fear of the Golden State Warriors. And dare I say, if they weren't as youthful as a team as they are, because I think they're the youngest team in the playoffs, one could make an argument that the Sacramento Kings could be leading the series right now. But now the series is tied 2-2 after um, a great win that the Golden State Warriors were able to attain uh, yesterday against them. So here's my outlook and why we're producing this show and why we titled it the way that we did. Here's how I'm seeing this thing playing out. I don't believe the Denver Nuggets can beat the Lakers. I just don't believe it. Now, the Lakers beat them in the bubble because they had a different set of personnel. They had Dwight Howard. They had Anthony Davis, who's three, four years younger, obviously. Um, I forgot the other bodies that they have, but they have some big bodies that can play them play him really well, especially Dwight Howard. I mean, he's a multiple-time uh, defensive player of the year. They don't have that. But I still give the Lakers the edge over the Denver Nuggets, man, because the Lakers have proven players like um, – uh, what is it, Anthony Davis, who's a champion. You have LeBron James, who's, you know, has so many championships. So I think that if the Lakers would have faced the Nuggets, I think the Lakers would beat them. That's the first thing. I think that um, if the Suns advance, to be quite honest with you, the Suns are very, very top heavy. And they do not have a bench. And Kevin Durant is not looking like the Kevin Durant of old. And I would going into a series, I wouldn't be surprised if the Lakers beat the Suns. I'm being totally serious with you guys. I wouldn't be surprised if the Lakers beat the, um, what is it, the Phoenix Suns. And uh, what is it? I think they're going to beat the Memphis Grizzlies. And I think that leaves the only team 
that I believe they can possibly stop the Lakers from winning it, at least coming out of the Western Conference. I believe that team is the Golden State Warriors. In a seven-game series, I would pick the Warriors to beat the Lakers. Now, Shannon Sharp, a few weeks ago, came out and said there's no way in hell that he sees the Warriors being able to topple the Lakers in a seven-game series. I think the Warriors are the, the, the one team that could stop them now that the Clippers are most likely going to be out. The Phoenix Suns are not as invincible as people think they are. Devin Booker looks amazing because he's playing against role players. That's why Devin Booker looks so sensational. If Devin Booker was playing against the likes of Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, he would not look as great as he, he looks. Number one, because he won't be having all of those easy looks. And number two, he would have to guard somebody. You're going to have to either guard Paul George or you're going to have to guard Kawhi Leonard. So I'm not really, I'm not sold on that team as of yet. So here's what I think. I think if the Golden State Warriors get knocked out in round one, I think the Lakers are going to go to the finals. That's what I think. I think the only two teams that could have stopped the Lakers this year in the West were the Clippers, who are not going to make it, and uh, the Golden State Warriors. If those two teams get knocked out, especially in round one, so the Lakers don't have to face them whatsoever, Lakers are going to go to the finals. That's my first prediction. Now, here's an even bigger um, feeling that I'm getting. If we look at the landscape of the Eastern Conference, Giannis Antetokounmpo has been out. Okay? So if Giannis goes out, um, the Milwaukee Bucks don't stand a chance. Which means that the only two teams, now some people say, what about the Knicks? Yeah, I like the Knicks, but let's not go that far yet. The only two teams that I believe could give the Lakers a run for their money if they get to the finals is the Boston Celtics and the uh, uh, Philadelphia 76ers. But what's the issue with the Philadelphia 76ers? Joel Embiid's health. As a matter of fact, he missed game four. And I think they expected him to come back next week. I don't know what he missed the game for. Uh, what, what was the reason? Something, Some type of injury. Who knows exactly what it is? So my 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 overall um, sentiment is simply this. I think the Lakers have a very good chance to make it to the NBA Finals. And if they're not facing Boston um, or healthy Bucks, which I think they could even beat, to be quite honest with you, because Michael, Mike Budenholzer, the, the, the what is it, the Milwaukee Bucks coach, be up there coach, running some, making some doofus moves, man. I don't understand that coach. But anyway, I think the Lakers have a really good chance at possibly win it at all. Now, if they face Boston, I think Boston would give them a run for their money. Hopefully, they would have learned from some of their mistakes that they made last year in the playoffs because of their youth. But uh, with the Clippers being gone and the Warriors being gone, man, I see the Lakers making it to the finals. If the Warriors get knocked out in round one, the Lakers are going to the finals. I believe the Lakers will beat the Suns because I think the Suns are way too top heavy. Way, 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 way too top heavy. Um, but that's just my prediction. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but that's the feeling I'm getting. And if that happens and the Lakers go on to win the championship, now obviously LeBron would have to be the finals MVP, uh, but it's definitely going to open up that conversation again between um, him and Michael Jordan, right? And I think we're going to be having that conversation all over again. If he wins his championship in what year? What is it? Year, what was that? year 20. So these are just my thoughts. I could be absolutely wrong, but this is where my gut is leaning towards. So what I want to know from you guys, what do you think about some of the things that we had to say in the show? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts in the comment section. We catch you on the next show.